everyone welcome to web coding so today in this video we are going to discuss the next question that is the burning tree 2 so this question is going to be a variation of the previous question that was burning tree and we obviously know that the burning tree is using the concepts from its previous questions that is find node to root path and k distance away and find node k distance away so we are going to use the same thing here just slightest change that is going to be what let's see in the previous video what we have did we did that we know that if we start a fire from this point that is from the ith node what used to happen it uh, uh, to reach fire from one point to, uh, to uh, from one node to its neighbor it, it it was going to take one second right so let's calculate that what was the maximum time that it was going to take first to reach j it was going to take one second to reach k it was going to take one second to reach n it was going to take two seconds and to reach o it was going to take two seconds right this is all this is the thing that we have previously discussed that how it is going to reach uh if it is going to reach to g it is going to two seconds and this for this g this i was going to be the blocker node we have already discussed the blocker nodes concept so i'm not going to repeat that same concept here so if if you are not aware with that uh, those two concepts then please i'll recommend you to go and watch the previous videos so that you'll get familiar with this concept of the blocker node so i'll just give you overview that uh, or i'll just uh, recall you that uh, what was the concept of blocker node actually it was nothing but if the fire is going to spread to its parent then that that tree that child and its its sub uh, its its family is already be burned down right uh, what i'm saying is first from i it is going to burn j k this k is going to burn these two which means that this whole tree was burned down now for g if the fire is spreading to g g is going to look obviously g, uh, g is going to go for, go to its uh, going to its own child so g's child is what h and i but i is already burned down so i is no uh, g is not going to oh, sorry the fire is not going to spread from g to i again because there is no point uh, there is no point of burning the same thing again and again so here we know that g is going to go where uh, the fire is going to go from g to h that is going to take three seconds and from h to i uh, h to l that is going to take four seconds and this is also sorry not four seconds but actually sorry i will just write here one second uh okay yeah one second here i has been centered as blocker node because this node has uh this this branch is already burned down which means this family is burned down and from because why one second because here it took zero seconds so from zero to its neighbor it is going to take one second from g to h it is going to take two seconds and from h to l it is going to take three seconds and from h to m it is going to take three seconds we have already seen we have already discussed this thing in previous video let's let's discuss it again here from g to c the fire is going to take two seconds from c to f it is going to take three seconds and now for this c f g g is going to be the blocker node right from here it is going to take three seconds and from here it is going to take four seconds and from here from b to d it is going to take five seconds and b to f so b to e it is going to take five seconds now this was what we have discussed in the previous video right for the previous question now in this question what is the difference or what is the slightest change is that at zero time or at the i'll, I'll call it as time at uh, zero time which nodes were burned we, we can see that i was burned right i was burned at the zero time this means that to burn i it took zero unit of time zero seconds at one second what were those nodes which were burned down let's see at zero second j was burned k was burned and what was burned g was burned right and if if we see that if we, if we just uh, instead of instead of directly writing k here let's let's go again let's see from here it took one second from here it took one second now the fire is at k uh, at and j j has no child therefore the fire is not going to spread any further so i'll just erase that 
from k the fire is going to spread to m n and o sorry n and o it is going to 2 2 seconds so we are at 2 second interval 2 seconds interval n and o was burned right now n and the fire cannot spread further because all the branches have been burned now the fire is going to spread to where to just to this g to this g now it is going to take one second so this g is going to be included in the interval of one second right similarly from g to h it took two seconds so h is going to be included here now from h to l it took three seconds so a new interval has been created of three seconds sorry here i'll write l and from uh, h to m it also took three seconds so in the interval of three two nodes are going to be added now from g to c see the how the path is going first here then here and then here now from g to c it took how many seconds it took two seconds so the c is going to be included in this interval right now from c to a so it's not not to a but c to f it took three seconds the path is going from here to here right now c to f it took three seconds so f is going to be included in this interval now from c to a it is going to take three seconds so this is also going to be included where this is also going to be included in, included in three seconds interval right now from this a for this a this c is blocker node which means this this has been already burned down so a is going to check where a is going to go to its other remaining child so it is going to be and that is taking four second of intervals so at four second at four second the new inter uh, interval has been created and it is going to add b from b the fire is going to spread to d and e with what time with new interval of five seconds that is going to be d and e so with this the whole tree was burned in the previous question we knew that uh, we have already seen that maximum time taken that is max time taken to burn the whole tree was five second it was same example it took something like five second for this case it is taking five second right now here what we have to return here we have to return the nodes that were burned at that specific interval of time for example at two in, at, at two seconds which were those nodes uh, uh, which are those those nodes uh, that were burned so we can see that n o h c here we can see that n o h and c were the those nodes which were burned at the interval of two seconds right so we have to return this whole as an answer so here we can say that we have created an array for we can create an array for all these things all these answers right now these arrays will be created at what let's say for zero 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Array of 0 is being created, let's say, at 11k indices, at 11th k, uh, 11k position. What is going to be, let's say, address of this 0th array is 11k. For this, it is going to be 12k, let's say. Let's consider as 13k, 14k, 15k, and 16k. Now, we have to return this, these arrays that are present in uh, present at these locations so what we can do we can just create a vector or create a new array there is nothing but concept of vector of vector so we are going to just create a new array of size what of size 5 sorry size 6 uh, and indexes starting from 0 to 5 so let's say 0 1 2 3 4 5 right and address of this vector is going to be let's say at 4k and we are just going to store these addresses at their respective indexes that is 11k will be stored here 12k will be stored here 13k will be stored here 14k will be stored here 15k will be stored here and 16k will be stored here so this is going to look something as 2d array right the how how the 2d array is going to look like it is going to be something like this 
like uh, like i uh, array of in uh, array at uh, let's say address 11 k and zero indices in this big array with value i here j k g and similarly n o h c l m f a b and d and e so in the end we have to just return this 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 as an answer right so how we are going to do this let's let's try to uh, code actually because after coding you will get to understand what actually we are going to do actually the code is going to be same as the previous code only but there will be just a change of four three to four lines actually what we are going to do in the bay in the in one function we are going to just create and create this array actually this array will be created already now we have to just fill this array that is we have to fill this fourth k array with values what with these values right with these values at their respective indices just we have to do that so let's see how it is going to look in uh, how it is going to uh, how we are going to actually code this there are these functions that are provided provided to us these are the same functions as the previous uh, previous question now here we are going to create what vector of vector of int type and we are going to name it what you can name it as answer and now we are going to call to this function burning tree function as we did in previous video now we here we are going to pass root node and the fire node right and we are going to pass what answer vector now in this particular function what we did first we are going to let's say calculate left time and that is going to be something like this we are going to pass it root dot left fire node and answer as in vector sorry answer as in sorry so and we are going to do the same thing for right tree uh, that is we are going to find the amount of time taken to burn the right side and after getting some answer what we used to do we used to look that if my left time is not equal to minus one then we used to do something similarly if my right time was not equal to minus one we used to do something right we'll see that what we used to do but before let's uh, uh let's finish other functions here what is going to be the base case the base case is going to be if my root is equal equal to null then return minus one right and second thing if my root roots value was equal equal to fire node then we used to do something right here we used to return one but before that what we used to do we used to call another function that function was this function burn tree node we are going to call this function and we are going to pass what we are going to pass this root value and initially the time is going to be zero and initially my null node that is blocker node is going to be null right and i am going to just pass this answer so you can see that from the previous uh, question the slightest difference is that here in the arguments we are just passing answer as uh, answer as an extra thing that is we have to fill this answer right so now in this function what we are going to do we are going to first make calls that is my right call sorry left call it is going to be root dot left blocker a uh, time as time plus one 
blocker node as same so i am going to call it as bloc block node and answer as same and for right we are going to do the same thing right now here the base case was if first base case was common that if my root is equal equal to null or my root dot val or let's say root is equal equal to block node then what we have to do we have to just return from that point we don't want to explore any further return from that point now second thing what we are going to do this is the main thing if my time is equal equal to answer dot answer dot size then what we are going to do we are going to create a new vector let's say vector and let's say call it as base vector or instead of base let's call actually what we are going to do we are actually doing this that currently my time is going to be zero my size of answer is going to be zero right so this means that there is still there is no interval or we can say that still there there is no element that represents that uh, something is burned in this uh, burn in this tree right what i am trying to say is let's say if i pass this i then it is certain that i is going to be burned at zero uh, uh, at zero seconds right that is i is going is i is going to be burned first so we have to add this in our answer as we we can see here right at zero we have to store something so what we are going to do if my time and answers uh, answer size is going to be equal i am going to just create a new let's say answer is something like this empty at 4k address what i am going to do i am going to just create a new array or new vector let's say at 11k and i am going to just add this here so what it is going to look like it is going to be like answer is of answer is going to of size one size is going to be one and at zeroth index what we are going to store we are going to store an vector that is present at address 11k and the address of this answer is going to be at 4k right so this is what we are doing we stored here we create a new vector let's name it as interval inter interval okay so this is going to uh, represent the time interval at which the node was burned and we are going to just add this answer dot back we are going to add this interval right now after this what we have to do we till now we have just added till now we have just added an empty array list uh, we have added an empty array list or empty vector in this in answer so what i am saying that answer was empty i have created a new vector let's say interval that is also going to be empty and i have just added this in here so currently how my answer is looking my answer is something like this an empty array list or empty vector with an empty vector right now i have to add something in in this in this vector right in this internal vector i have to add something and what is that something actually i have to add this this values that is the node burned at that particular time so what i am going to do i am going to just use this use this time variable at answers time i am going to push the value of root right so with this what this line is actually doing this line is actually taking let's say this d at fifth for five days this, this is actually your empty array list at for 16k let's say at 16k we have created an empty array list we are going to add this d in here and then we first we have already added let's say here it was already added at 16k now what we are doing we are just adding 
this d and we are adding it here right so i hope this is clear to you now this function is uh, complete now what we are remaining with is this function what we used to do if we found a value that from left time if our left time was non negative that is greater than minus 1 then what we used to do we used to call this function burning node function burning node function with what with root as it is uh, then what was the next thing time as left time blocker node as the self node that, that is root dot left and answer right these are the things we have to pass and same thing is going to be done here but here instead of left time we are going to pass right time and we are going to pass right here next thing we are going to do what we are going to return left time plus 1 we have discussed that why we uh, do this uh, left time plus one and right time plus one uh, in the previous video so if not clear to you then please go and watch this previous videos with this our code is complete let's let's try to run this code but before that let's check that we have written everything correctly yes it looks like everything is correct let's try to run this code and there is some mistake let's see is the mistake it is at 29th line Twenty-ninth line yes here is taking what okay yes instead of this we have to write this now let's try to run this code this member function at line 42 we are not actually going to we are actually not going to use dot but we are going to use this arrows so this is the really silly mistake so everything is correct let's see so everything is correct yes we have to print our answer also actually this is going to give us correct answer but now let's let's try to run this it is not going to show anything so we have to actually print this answer so what we are going to do uh, we will just create we will just run a for each loop so for let's say vector of int type temp in answer what we are going to do we are going to run a loop for t in temp c out t with some variable and c out Yeah. with this i hope the function uh, the program is clear completed let's try to run this code now mm, let's see if it is going to give us any errors or not mm. okay it is being accepted let's let's try to submit this code and all the test cases are passing so with this i hope the question was uh, clear the question and the solution was clear to you all what we did was same as the previous questions just we added the answers that were coming in the new rls that is the whole mean function or the whole mean thing was done in these these three lines like these four four lines as i have said previously so with this i hope the question was clear to you all so thank you for this video let's meet in the next video